Hello, namaste. My name is Anishka Sapru. I'm 12 years old and my project is on Karan. Brainstorm using shlokas from Bhagavad Gita. Om Asmat Kurupyo Namaha. So this is the start of Mahabharat. This is the very first shloka of chapter one. Dhritarashtra Vacha Dharma Kshetri Guru Kshetri Samaveta Yuyatsavaha Mamaka Pandavasjeva Kimakur Vata Sanjaya. So this shloka means Dhritarashtra said, O oh Sanjaya, after gathering on the holy field of Kurukshetra and desiring to fight, what did my sons and sons of Bandhu do? So after this, 17 days after um, the war started, Danvir Karn is killed by Arjun. So out of all the people who contributed to his death, we first have Arjun, who pulled the bow on Karn. Next, we have Krishna. Next, we have King Shalya, which even Karan's own charioteer, King Shalya, had worked against Karan to lead to this. And then we have Mata Kunti, who is, um, who is Karan's mother. And last but not least, we have Indra. First, we'll start off talking about Bhagwan Krishna. Bhagwan Krishna guided Arjun in a particular and Pandavas in general, through the whole epic. He agreed to become Arjun's charioteer during the 18th day battle and guided him through the battlefield. Next, we have King Shalya, who was, who was Garden's charioteer. All along the time King Shalya was with Garden, he kept praising Arjun and his bravery and his skills as an excellent archery expert. This worked on Karan's subconscious, and he started getting slightly unsure about his own abilities. On the 17th day of battle, the much anticipated confrontation between Karan and Arjun finally takes place. During the course of combat, one of Karan's chariot wheels gets stuck in loose soil. King Shalya, who was his charioteer, refuses to get down and remove the wheel from the mud. Hence, Karan asks to wait while he gets off his chariot and extricates the wheel. Arjun agrees. Meanwhile, Krishna orders Arjun to shoot Karan while he was attempting to lift the wheel out of the mud. So that was how he died. And Krishna asked him, asked Arjun to pull the bow and not wait for him to stop and pull the wheel out of the loose soil. But he wasn't the only way that he died. The bow wasn't the only way he died. Another point leading up to his death was Mata Kunti. A little bit of background information on Mata Kunti was uh, the god Surya. Surya granted her son a radiant, as radiant and strong as a feather. Surya gifted Garn with an armor, a kavaj and a pair of earrings, a kunda, which were attached to him from birth. Kunti abandoned Garn, setting him afloat in a box in a river. The child was picked up by King Dhritarashtra's charioteer, Adhirata, a sutra, and Garn was raised by him and his wife, Radha. He approached Dronacharya, who refused to teach him, as he was a sutputra, the son of a charioteer. Garn approached Parashuram, who accepted him as his student. Before Mahabharat, Kunti approached Karan and revealed her identity as his mother and asked him not to fight his brothers. Karan refused. It was too late. He owes the Duryodhan too much. He is Duryodhan's friend, first and foremost, and must fight the Pandas. Duryodhan accepted him when nobody else would. He must follow his dharm and continue to stay loyal to his friend. And this is when Karan decided that he needs to follow his dharm and stay loyal to his friend and that his friendship means more than anything. And another point to how Karan died was because he had no protection. And because he had no protection, uh, he died. And he had no protection because Indra took it away. A little bit more info on that 
is that in Tardiv, the king of the heavens and the gods realized that Garn would be invincible in battle as long as he had the golden armor and earrings that he was born with, the Gavach and Kundal. Indar took it upon himself to weaken Garn. He approached Garn as a poor Brahmin, and uh, and disguised Indra, uh, he disguised Indra, approached Garn, and asked for his Gavach, his armor, and his Kundal as alms. <clears throat> Garn, despite knowing that the armor and earrings were his protection, readily gave them away. A man true to his word, even when he knew that it was going to work against him, he stuck to his dharm without worrying about the results. And as you can see that this is when he was taking off his Garn Kavach and Garn Kundal and giving it to Indraji. And with this, this is the historic Mahabharat Yud. Karan serves as an excellent example of a gifted, righteous, and brave individual who was still doomed because of his loyalty towards Duryodhan, the valiant son of Kunti who battled his brothers to uphold the sanctity of friendship. And this was Karan's story. Thank you and namaste.